Hey, this is Prash Tawaka reminding you to mind your decisions. A rectangle contains three identical circles as shown in the diagram. The top two circles are tangent to two sides of the rectangle, while the bottom circle is tangent to just one side. If each circle has a radius of r, what is the area of the rectangle in terms of r? This problem is adapted from one of the hardest GCSE exam problems. You can pause the video right now if you'd like to give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video to check your answer or to learn how to solve this problem. So to get the area of this rectangle, we want to solve for the length and the width. We can solve for one dimension by drawing in these radii of the circles. We see that this side of the rectangle will be the sum of these lengths, which is 4r. Now let's calculate the length of the other side. We'll draw in the radii of these circles, and notice we're going to form an equilateral triangle with a side length of 2r. This means each angle is equal to 60 degrees. We now draw an altitude as follows. This divides the equilateral triangle into two equal triangles that are 30, 60, and 90. This is a special right triangle. The side opposite 30 degrees is r, so the side opposite 60 degrees will be r times the square root of 3. You could have also solved that using the Pythagorean theorem. This means this vertical length will be r times the square root of 3. To get the remaining length, we draw in these radii, which have a length of r. So the total length of this side will be the sum of these values, which is equal to r times the quantity 2 plus the square root of 3. We can then calculate the area as the product of these two dimensions. And this gives us our answer of 4r squared multiplied by the quantity 2 plus the square root of 3. Incredible! Thanks for watching and for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. Thanks for watching and thanks for your support.